The news, good evening. The governor of the central bank, uh, Caroline Abel, has expressed concern with the fact that the foreign exchange rates uh, continue to rise. She has launched an appeal to everyone to behave more responsibly with their expenses, uh, taking into consideration the many uncertainties uncertainties when it comes to the COVID-19 situation, which is now worsening in many parts of the world, especially Europe, Governor Abel has called on everyone to do their part, uh, saying the central bank is very worried. The National Assembly today approved the nomination of five more new ministers. They are Devika Vidot, Marie-Céline Ziallo, and Jean-François Jean Ferrari, Billy Rangasamy, and Sylvestre Radegonde. The youngest nominee is Devika Vidot, who specializes in accounting and international business. She was previously heading an offshore company. Only 31 years old, she's the youngest nominee for a ministerial position in the 13 nominations being examined by the National Assembly. In terms of experience, so I, I feel that I have gathered um, enough experience in terms of management and leadership, but obviously uh, in a ministerial position I have not been uh, privileged to, to, to serve in this post before and th this will be the first time and I'm very excited um, uh, to, to have been given this opportunity so um, I'm looking forward to it um, and I, uh, I foresee that I'll be able to, to do a, a very good job uh, so I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Thank you. Jean-François Ferrari is the only politician from the LDS who will form part of the new cabinet. He was uh, MNA for Montfleury in the 6th National Assembly. A lot of people think that I have an attitude. Maybe. Other people think that I have an attitude problem. Certainly not. I am a pretty easygoing person, but I'm very forceful in my arguments. Maybe I have a big voice, and this makes me stand out in a crowd. But I want people to know that when I'm given a job, I can and have proven that I can bring people together around one direction, one objective, and we will produce results. I am a team leader who is not a boss, but who tries to lead and to walk along with others. Billy Rangasamy was not in the assembly today as he is still in quarantine. Sylvain Radogon, who was the Seychelles ambassador to France, is expected in the country tomorrow. The Supreme Court has remanded for 14 days a suspect in human trafficking with possible connection to drug trafficking. The suspect is facing two charges, aggravated trafficking of a person and trafficking in persons. The case concerns a Seychelles national who disappeared two years ago and who is alleged to have been sent overseas by an organized criminal group as guarantor for drugs being sent to Seychelles. The prosecution believes that other Seychelles nationals are being held in captivity overseas until payments are made for drugs sent to Seychelles. Shoppers have been queuing for the long-awaited chance to grab a bargain at the newly opened British chain store Matalan. The clothes and housewares retailer, located next to the STC hypermarket, had a low-key opening on Wednesday. The company says technical teething problems caused delays at the checkouts, but that hasn't stopped shoppers swarming in. The first mass market foreign multiple of its kind in the country, Matalan, has finally opened its doors. The British retailer found itself almost overwhelmed. At times there were up to 100 people waiting outside, while inside double that. With the opening delayed by Covid, receipt printers were playing up, but people didn't mind. When you go inside, you feel like you're uh, some kind of another place. The shopping experience was fine, um, feels good to be here. Um, the price is as well as reasonable. You don't often see this type of stuff in Seychelles, you know, and when it's now here, it's an advantage. I feel like you are in England doing the shopping. 
With more than 200 stores in the UK, it was brought here by the Stravens family, who own luxury shops on Eden Island and are now targeting the middle market. It took the family that brought Madeleine here just over 14 months to convert this former rice hanger into 1,200 metres of retail space, and they're employing around 30 Sichuan. The stock, naturally all paid for with increasingly precious foreign exchange, is shipped from Britain. From now, I think we got enough for stock. So, it's enough stock in the store. So, there are lots of people coming and buying. But I think maybe we will try and uh, replenish by next week. Top sellers today, unsurprisingly, sundresses. For the Sechawa staff, a challenging learning curve, soothing customers who face checkout delays. The official opening is next week. <laughs> Hunan 6, the company building SBC House, made a donation of 18,000 masks to the Seychelles Broadcasting Corporation. Its project manager, Luo Lan, presented the mask to the chief executive officer of the SBC, Bera Dupré. Mr. Dupré says that with all the risks that COVID-19 poses, the masks shall help protect the staff from the virus. We promise that we will make good use of uh, these disposable masks to help protect our staff, especially our journalists and crew who are invariably at increased risk when on assignments. Protecting our staff is a key to ensuring that the SBC continues to provide the essential service that it is mandated to deliver. This significant gift also underscores the special consideration the corporation enjoys with the Chinese Embassy and with our contractor, Hunan 6. We look forward to enhancing our already good collaboration, notably in ensuring that we have properly trained staff to operate the premium broadcasting facility that you are gifting us. I thank you. And with this we end this news summary. Thank you for watching. Have a very pleasant evening.